Hi guys, it's your resident plant lady coming to you today. I know it's been a minute, we've been busy, but I wanted to give you a rundown on what's in the plant room. Plants make great gifts, they make fantastic gifts. Uh, even if the person you're giving it to isn't a plant person, it's better than a bouquet of flowers. It's better than a green arrangement that you know is going to die in two weeks after you give it to them. If the plant does too, same amount of money. If they keep it alive, even better. So let's take a little tour through the plant room because I haven't done it in a while and I wanted to give you guys an update. Let's start with the orchids. I get these orchids locally. I have a guy that grows them for me one town over. They are gorgeous. Orchids make a great gift. The flowers last forever and I have every color imaginable. I don't know if you guys have been following my Facebook page or Instagram, but I posted some of the minis that had come in. They are so freaking adorable. I can't get over it. We have mini cyclamens. Look at how full these are, you guys. Look at that little teeny tiny pot and how big that plant is. They just keep blooming their little heads off. I also have larger cyclamens in stock. I have the um, four inch pots as well as a six inch pot if you want something a little bit bigger. I'm just gonna swing this way a little bit. And I got in some of the orange oxalis, which are just stunning. They're absolutely beautiful. The stems are kind of a pink red. The, um, the leaves come out with a little bit of uh, orange and pink in them. And then they kind of fade out to a chartreuse color, which are fabulous. And next to those, if you saw, I had the mandarin spider plants. Those are super cool. I like those a lot. My brother came back yesterday with a truck full of poinsettias. We are fully, fully stocked all different ones, including this one, which I love. But he also got some of your basic traditional reds and uh, that creamy white color as well. And there's some that are mixed, both in one pot. Super cool. All right, we're gonna keep moving. Um, money trees, we have money trees in stock. Those always make a great gift uh, to anyone, really. Um, they're easy care, semi-lower light, uh, they are drought tolerant. Fantastic gift. We keep moving. Um, I got in some really cool pitcher plants uh, with monster pitchers on them. Super healthy looking specimens. These are really cool. These are great for kids too. Um, they're really fascinated by them. And then as we go down a little bit and I got some of the larger leaf photonias in your white and your pink. Uh, these are also called nerve plants. These are great plants for beginners because when they're thirsty, they literally faint. So it gives that person an idea of when they need to water and to keep track of that. They're really pretty, just striking. Also some mini roses, those are great <clears throat> as well. They are hardy outside, so you keep it inside now, treat it like a house plant through the winter and then in the uh, late spring, you can plant it in the ground. It will come back year after year if it is protected with mulch. They are gorgeous. As we keep moving, um, another old fashioned favorite are the African violets. I have three different sizes of the violets in stock. Again, the minis. Look at how sweet these are. Look at that. How cute is that? These are only four bucks, you guys. These make a great gift for a teacher or I don't know, bus drivers, uh, just that person you wanna get a little something for, for four bucks, or you can add it onto something else. Super, super cute. I have the larger uh, three plant ones, which are fantastic as well. Three different varieties in one pot. Those are $14.99. And then I do also have your regular four inch pots. These are $4.99 bursting with flowers. They're gorgeous. Uh, we're just going to move up a bit. Uh, these are the rosemary trees. These have been very, very popular. $11.99 on these. This is fantastic if you're doing a roast for Christmas. Cut your own fresh rosemary. Don't buy it at the store. And then you have the plant that you can keep cutting from all winter long. Great. All right, we're going to keep moving. Um, variegated peace lilies. Um, these are fantastic. Um, the growth habit is... is pretty much the same as a regular peace lily, although their foliage is a little bit more roughly, but you still get the flowers on it. Look at how big this flower is gonna be. It is like gigantic. Look at how big that is. It hasn't opened yet, but it's huge. I think it's the biggest one I've ever, ever seen. All right, keep moving. Um, 
I did get in some more string of pearls. Those are always popular. You can give somebody pearls for Christmas. How fun is that, right? Um, I have the hangers, $24.99. These are the beads. And then I do have some of the pearls. Pretty much the same growth habit. The pearls are a little rounder. The beads happen to be a little bit more elongated. Look at the size of the beads on that one. Those are really cool. If you don't want something that large, I do have the smaller ones in stock as well. Both beads and pearls still in stock. Uh, the leather pots. You guys loved the leather pots and I do still have a few left. I have a few hangers left and I think I only have one of the regular sitting pot uh, left. No, I have two. I have this color and then I have a brown as well uh, left in stock. But that's it, you guys. That's it. I'm not sure I'll get more of those in. Um, we have lots and lots of gift ideas as well. Uh, vases and pots and um, garden tags. Cute little things that you can add on to a gift for your favorite gardener or plant person. Um, this line is super cute. Um, I love the style on that. It's just fun and cheerful. Uh, we have little garden stakes and different sayings with different colors, um, as well as these little cups, which are really, really cute. And it's the perfect size to put a K cup in. So if you're giving somebody a, I don't know, Keurig machine for Christmas, or they're like a coffee fan, like me, <laughs> throw a little K cup in there. And that's a perfect little ornament, little gift. It's really, really cute. All right, let's keep moving. Citrus, my brother showed up with citrus the other day. Uh, we have a couple lemons, we have a lime. They are fully budded and blooming, as well as this variegated boy. Look at how pretty the leaves are on that. That is stellar variegation. These are the pink lemonades. So the lemons themselves are pink and variegated. Weird, right? Look it up, it's cool. All right, I still have some string ofs in stock, string of needles, string of hearts, variegated string of hearts, uh, and some string of arrows still in stock. This last order I got in a lot of Tratascanchas. Those are always popular, they're a great gift. These are the bubblegum or Nanook variety. Uh, they go by both names. Some are a little more purple than others. I love the variegation. You're looking at now the uh, Kalissas which is that mini, mini looking um, Tratoscantia, although it is not a Tratoscantia. Growth habit is similar. The care is similar. Uh, I do still have a few pink princess in stock. Hint, hint, I'm gonna be marking those down. So if somebody has a pink princess on their wish list, come in and see me. I wanna clear some of those out uh, and you're not gonna be able to refuse the price on those, trust me. Uh, we're going to keep moving. I got some amazing string of turtles in. I don't know why these are still here. Look at how cute this little hanging pot is. Is that not adorable? But look at how great those turtles look. Fantastic. And they're happy. They're flowering. So I have them in these little hangers. These are $12.99. I also got in some little uh, four inch pots. It's actually like a three and a half inch pot. And these look great as well. Good coloring on them. Can't deny that's not a turtle. We did get in some of these cute little turtle pots as well, which would make a great gift. How cute that would look potted up in there. The little turtle planter with a string of turtles in the top. Really, really cute. Variegated string of hearts. Those are always popular as well. And then Hoya Heaven. Uh, I am loaded with Hoyas. Um, I have your Macrophyllas. I have Cupid Calyx. I have some variegated carry eyes. Look at the size of this one. These are gorgeous, loving these. He surprised me with these on my last order. Um, what else do I have in here? Oh, I have the um, Bertonier, and I also have some of the Cadada, uh, Kad uh, Kad uh, the Sumatras. Really, really cool on that one. It's a rough edge, I'll show you that as we keep moving down in a minute. Uh, but I wanted to swing this way. Uh, Peperomias, I got in some of the mini ones. These are great little add-ons as well, $4.49. Look at how cute that is. These are great for terrariums or on a desktop. Those are really, really cute. I think there's four varieties left in those. Uh, obviously the um, the watermelon peperomias, which are always really popular, um, but those are looking super healthy. And then some of your other varieties. Down towards the bottom, I wanna point out some of the allocations. These are some of the different ones that we got in. Um, or what's left of them at this point. I do have some of the dragon's tooths in there and the longabatas. 
uh, as well as the Bambinos and the Black Velvet. And then uh, a couple of the Hilo Beauty um, Caladiums, uh, which also falls in that, um, they call it a alocasia, but it really is a Caladium, but these are gorgeous. Super fun. This is that Sumatra that I was talking about. I don't know if you can see the edge on that, how rough it is. It's a rough edge. This is like cardboard and the splashy on that is really, really pretty. These were uh, a new variety that he sent me in that last order. And I may have squealed a little bit when I saw him on the truck, not gonna lie. Uh, as we keep moving, um, more little terrarium plants. These are great, again, as an add-on uh, to a gift. Uh, $3.99 each on those. Um, there's some of the Purple Passion in there, which are always popular with little girls. Uh, well, and adult girls as well. Um, I have one Standiolana left. I don't know why. Look at the variegation on that. Gorgeous. Uh, that was another surprise on my order. Uh, if that's still sitting there, that might end up having to come home with me. So somebody come get it because I'm out of room. Um, tons of your uh, philodendrons. So there's Brazils, there's Mikans, there's regular green. Um, and then uh, we still have some Cebu Blues. Uh, we have some of your Uprights, your Lemon Lime, the Macaulay's Finale. I have Birkins. Uh, I have some of the Mias. Um, but we're going to swing this way because I was excited about these. The lipstick plants are in stock. Uh, this one I looked at last night and I think maybe we have a bloom coming on that one. Um, but these are gorgeous, easy care plants. The leaves are just a little fuzzy and you guys know how I feel about my fuzzy leaves. Love those. Um, I have them in the hanging pots as well as the uh, smaller four inch pots, which are looking super happy and super healthy. And then we also did get in some of the Black Pagoda, which is one of my favorites. Um, look up the flower on this one because it really is unique. Uh, and mine is flowering at home. I should have probably taken a picture and added it to this video, but I didn't do that because I'm a slacker. Um, okay, I got in some uh, ficus triangular. Don't laugh at me, Dina. <laughs> you know I am. Triangularis, these are the variegated, uh, obviously why it's called a triangularis because the leaves are a little bit triangle shaped. This is a really cool ficus. I find that it's pretty hardy compared to some of your other ficuses. As we keep moving, um, goldfish plants. I got in some goldfish plants. These are beautiful, super healthy. Uh, some of them are blooming. Um, I love the backsides of these leaves with that little splash of burgundy. Is that coming through with the backlighting? The better? Look at that. Love those. So no matter where you put those, you're getting some sort of um, you know, attention getting with the different colors on the leaves. Um, okay, so we're gonna keep moving. Um, I do still have some uh, Monstera Siltipicanas in stock. I have some uh, Skidapsis in stock, uh, regular Pothos, uh, and my succulent area is full, full, full. Little guys, medium guys, bigger guys, I am stocked. Um, oh, uh, the string of uh, silver dollars or string of nickels. I've heard it called all different things. I do have three pots of these in stock right now. This was also another uh, surprise on that order. Um, and some Monstera Adansonii wide form. These are cool. In full. The size of that leaf. I love these. They are super fast growing. Um, they give you a lot of satisfaction for a... Um, in a short period of time, if that makes sense, because they grow like crazy. You can let them hang or you can have them climb up. They are gorgeous. This one is $19.99 for that size plant, huge. Um, okay, so I have hanging baskets in stock. Uh, what else? I don't even know what else I wanna mention. My plant room is full. Um, we would love to see you. Agile and Nemas make a great gift too, by the way, and I'm fully stocked on those as I just spotted them. Um, those can go anywhere in the home, no lie, anywhere. Uh, they don't need bright light, they can take bright light. Uh, they like to dry out or they can handle a little bit of wet foot. It doesn't matter. They're happy no matter where you put them. Um, so, uh, terracotta pots came in. Finally, I know if you've been looking for terracotta pots, you've been coming in and we haven't had them, our order finally came in. We are fully stocked on your terracotta pots. 
this one that way. And we have more pottery orders coming in um, shortly, actually. They're all like slated to come in. We ordered from I don't know how many different companies. We went maybe a little overboard, um, but keep your eyes open for that. Furnace just kicked on, so it's gonna get loud. So I'm gonna make this short and sweet. Thank you guys so much for watching. We can't wait to see you. If I don't see you before then, have a Merry Christmas. Thank you so much and have a great day.